Hi guys, Chris here from Tech Tablets with a mini PC that I've had my eye on for some time. Now the seller finally dropped their price on it down to 293 US. So I decided I'd snap it up, check it out and see if it's any good. Now this is a bare bones system. This one here, this particular model that I got has the Broadwell Core i5 5257U in it. So it's an ultra low voltage CPU in there and it's completely fanless. One of the things that I just have to have in a mini PC. I don't want any noisy fans. I've got my desktop that's got an, an i7 in there and a powerful graphics card and it's 800 watt power supply and it generates a lot of noise and heat. I don't want that at all. I just wanted a mini PC that would probably be better for work stuff, websites and things like that. So here's the box. You can see this is like a generic kind of box. There's quite a few sellers that are selling this on AliExpress. Uh, there is a link in the description if you are interested in having a look at this. So I've just got it here off the guy from DHL, just dropped it off, it was in a double box, I've just pulled the outer box off and I haven't actually opened this up at all, so I don't know if it's damaged, I don't know what's in the box or anything. Alright, so we have a couple of uh, wireless antennas there they've included, it does include hopefully a wireless card, I'll have a look once I open it up, and there's a, what's that, HDMI cable there they've included. Here's the power brick, quite a large one there, uh, 72 watts, 12 volts. Now we're not going to need that whole 72 watts of course, well I don't think we will, but there's ample uh, power there coming from this hopefully. Now this system, particular system, is up to 24 watts, now the other systems are around about 15, you can get an i3, there's also an i7 version as well with the, with the 5550U. So it reasonably looks to be a reasonably long plug there as well, there's a DC jack there and they're giving me the European plug which is good to see and what else do we have here, I can't oh, get that out so I'll just leave that, that's a bracket of course to prop up the mini PC, so just get to, whoop, ripping that there, okay wow it is quite heavy, I mean the box is heavy, this is definitely very heavy. Alright, so here it is. Very heavy actually, I'm going to weigh that because that just seems incredibly heavy for what it, what it is. But it's good to see though, obviously the heat sink is where that weight's coming from. So just grab my scales here and I'll just quickly weigh that because it does feel quite heavy. Just interesting to know the weight, that's 1.56 kilos. So you're quite heavy there. And here we go, here's all the ports on it. You can see that it's got four USB 2 ports here, two gigabit LAN ports, two HDMI ports here, so you can run twin monitors. Now on their website they say that this is HDMI 2 spec, but I kind of doubt that. I don't actually think the Broadwell supports it, or does it. I need to investigate and look into that a little bit further. There's a DC in. Um, we can see, see here the two connectors there, SMA connectors for the wireless antenna. And very thick, very strong build. And the front of it here we have SW, this is our power switch, four USB 3 ports there, a 3-in-1 card reader, SD card, uh, and the Sony cards, I think, and all that. They say 6-in-1, I don't know what the other, other ones will be, the other four. Optical out here, then we have microphone and speaker jacks there. And on the other side, just a gap. So, very heavy, very solid build, rubber feet on the bottom here. Uh, there's a gap here and I can see by the spacing of this, this is obviously where you'd mount your 2.5 inch hard drive there, SATA hard drive, and we do have mounting bracket you can buy for it where you'd mount the Visa mount, so you can mount it onto the back of a TV or a, TV or a monitor there. So I'm going to have to open this up now to have a look in, inside and see what uh, ports and connections we have there for connecting up the hard drives and the RAM slots as well. Just remove the four screws on each corner of the base of it and just pull this off now and have a look here at the internals of the mini PC. Okay, so we've got the two RAM slots here. Each of them can take up to eight gigabytes of double data rate, three low powered RAM. So the same kind of RAM that you'd use in a notebook or laptop there, the modern ones anyway. So we have a wireless card already pre-installed. This I think also has Bluetooth. I'm not really too worried about that because I'm just going to use the one of the LAN ports here 
as my connector so I'm going to connect that up to my network and you can see they have included cable there of course for the SATA just a shorter cable which is good because that's all you need and a power cable connector there as well and we do have here this is it looks like a MSATA one cent MSATA here and another one here so we have two hopefully those can be run in RAID and this is actually a PC IE slot here so we'll be able to install maybe a Bluetooth card another Bluetooth card if you wanted to do that uh, or even a different wireless card there, there are options there available and we can see there is a, a battery there for the BIOS so if we do have problems maybe we can just disconnect that and hopefully that will reset the bias there and overall looks pretty good internally not bad a little custom tiny motherboard there and the base of it I'll just show you now hopefully they use some decent quality thermal paste or ceramic paste there or thermal pads on the CPU but you can see that the metal goes down actually just to where these vents are on the side so rather thick base to it or should I say the actual top of it very thick there and of course we do have that grill there to allow the heat to dissipate off there so I will check that out on benchmarks just how hot it get, gets is it going to thermal throttle now the idea of this unit for myself personally is just a, a lower powered work unit I don't need the screaming loud 600 watts of desktop that I've got with the uh, overclocked i7 that's my gaming desktop really and I just wanted a dedicated kind of work machine that I can use just for doing uh, work related stuff open up a lot of chrome tabs that kind of thing there so I'm just going to install the RAM here so it just slots in the side there and push it down there so be careful with static so don't go patting your cat or your dog and then touch the chips or anything silly like that and I try and be very careful myself I don't have any problems with them so they just push down click in and we're away there and for myself personally I'm just going to go with a Samsung Evo drive here that I'll probably end up using on my desktop which is why I didn't get an MSATA drive, which would probably be a better idea. You could use a couple of MSATA drives or just one of them as your main operating system drive and then a larger one terabyte, 2.5 inch drive perhaps for storage there. So just get this connected up and put it all back together. Now, if you want to see any particular benchmarks on this or games tested, if you do want to see a bit of gaming on this, this does have the Iris 6100. So it should game a little bit better than a lot of the other low voltage uh, chipsets or the Core i5s or i7s out there. This should perform quite well. It is 24 watts. And we'll have to see if it does throttle as mentioned. So we'll check that out. But do keep an eye on the playlist if you are interested in this mini PC here. I'll have some more videos up and coming once I get it all back together and up and running. So do keep an eye out for those. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.